slowly getting there. Big estuary cod got him from right under there. Look at this big guy right here. That's a massive stingray. Look, I'm literally sliding through here. Oh, look at him trying to go me. Get out of there. Yes. Brim right there, big one. Oh, no. Big sea turtle, no. Oh no, he's alive. You're not allowed to handle these animals, but I don't want to let this turtle sit out here. He will literally cook in his shell if I leave him out here. <laughs> yes. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So as you can see, we've come out to this freshwater creek today. Now this creek actually eventually leads out to the ocean. So what I thought I'd do is I bought my kayak, I bought a fishing rod, a knife, all my filming gear, and we're gonna be kayaking from this point all the way out to the saltwater mangrove ecosystem where I'm gonna be trying to catch some fish, interacting with as many animals as we can. And how I'm actually gonna to try to catch my own food is make a primitive spear out of resources that I find around here, head out to the mangroves and hopefully try to catch something like a flathead, a mullet, mangrove jack, or even an estuary cod that I can cook up on the bank. I can tell that this is gonna be a really cool adventure already, so let's get into it, start building the spear and then head out to the mangroves. Then pretty much what we're gonna do from here is take all the skin off this spear. You can do it in like nice big strips like that. There's nothing cooler than dropping back into your primal instincts and sharpening a stick. The fact that I can do this with so little resources and be confident that I can catch my own food and cook it up is pretty cool. getting there but yeah if that hits a fish it's definitely spearing into it There we go. Big estuary cod, got him from right under there. It's really low tide at the moment, so you need to cast right up in there and that's where all those fish are sitting. All right. Let's try and get him in the boat. There we go. All right, and after hours of kayaking, I've finally made it out to the mangroves. And literally as soon as I got here, I got the drone up in the air, and you should see how many stingray holes are just scattered across the sand. That means there's some big stingrays nearby. I'm gonna try to track some down and get some drone footage of them. Look at this big guy right here. That's a massive stingray. 
It's literally so cool just watching them cruise around the mud flats, ripping and tearing up the floor, looking for little crustaceans and fish that they can eat. But what I'm gonna do now is get that primitive spear out and start hunting. Try to catch myself some breakfast. I don't think he's moving anywhere at oh. all. Oh! No! No! Why? I missed him. I think my spear wasn't sharp enough. It just went over the top of him. There's not a chance that I'm gonna be seeing him again. That's all right, it's early in the morning. We just got out here, let's keep going. So, this little place up here, Oh look, there's bait getting chased. I've caught so many fish in. Estuary cod, flathead. I've shot them with bows here, spears. So I'm gonna sneak up and see if I can see anything. Brim, right there, big one. Did I get him? I missed him. <laughs> Why? That's two fish that I've scared into this thing now. That was a massive brim. All right, this is gonna be harder than I thought it was. We're seeing a lot of fish, but man, they're so hard to spear. So it's not the spear, it's literally just my aim. It's hard to get practice throwing primitive spears like this because everyone that you make is different. It makes it more of a challenge. It's cool coming out here, dropping back into your primal instincts. So I've been hunting around these mangroves for a couple of hours now and sadly after missing that brim and missing that cod in the morning I haven't seen any more fish, any more legal fish that is. So what I'm thinking of doing is this water is just trickling in at the moment coming up over the mangroves, it's a king tide. So within about half an hour it should be knee deep here so I'm going to head deep into the mangrove, see if I can find maybe some mullet mangrove jacks sitting in the shallows with the spear or even try to get a mud crab before the tide comes up too far. We're on limited time here so we've got to be quick. These mangroves are literally so thick. I can barely move through them. Oh, oh. <laughs> whack myself in the face. But they hold life for so many species. Mud crab, right there. Oh, he's a big one. No way. Literally look how deep I am in the mangroves at the moment. Oh, he's moving. He probably has a hole nearby, hey. Climb through here. There he is. The big fella. Oh, look, I'm literally sliding through here. Oh, look at him trying to go me. Yes. I don't know if he's got a hole nearby, so I'm gonna have to grab him 
fully committed now. Come on, mate. Oh, I'm in the mangroves now. There's no way this muddy's getting away. All right, there we go. Oh, got him. Just got him by a swimmer there. Come on, mate. Get out of there. Yes. Oh, so deep in the mangroves. I can barely move out here. But take a look at that. After missing all those fish with the bow this morning, it's good to actually get a big mud crab. Oh, I can literally barely move in here. I've been missing fish with the spear all morning and the tide's just come up so much that it's made the water so murky. I can barely even see in here. So I'm thinking what I might do is resort to the fishing rod. I know a little creek just up near here. The tide will start pushing out in about a couple of hours. So I'm thinking of kayaking all the way up there, hitting that creek on foot and seeing what fish we can catch and animals we can get so that maybe we can cook up this mud crab with something else. I am getting absolutely eaten by mozzies right now, but I don't care. We got dinner, we got a mud crab. Let's take him back to the kayak. Following the tide out through this little creek right here, and seeing if I can spot anything. Look, there we go. Little mud crab. Definitely not big enough, but good to see that they're out here. So I'm just slowly making my way all the way out this little mangrove creek right here. But what I'm looking for is a nice deep channel or corner with a lot of mangroves that I can chuck this in and hopefully catch myself some dinner. Preferably a big mangrove jack. We're just gonna sneak out here. And let's see if we can get a jack. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, what's that? I think it's a big brim maybe. Yes, there we go. All right, that could be my dinner right there. Oh, there's another one chasing it, look at that. Wow. Yes, that's good to get a feed straight up. It'd be 30. Let's bring them up here and see if we can catch anything else. Oh, that was a jack. My drag literally can barely even pull it out and it just peeled that then. Yep, there we go. What's that? Oh. Get around here, mate. Oh, another big brim. They keep getting bigger. All right, see you, buddy. Let's get it back in there. Yep, there we go. We're on another big brim. Dude, these things are everywhere up in this creek. We need to find a snag with some jacks in it. See you, buddy. Let's keep going down that way. It's hard going. Getting through here. Right. Oh, no. Are you like, oh, I think it's dead. A big sea turtle. No, that's what can happen with these tides, hey. They come all the way up into these mangroves and, oh no, he's alive. Yes, he's still alive. And the creek's just there, but what happens is the tides come up so far all the way to the back of the mangroves up there. And what will happen is when it goes out, see this little channel right here? He would have been up in here looking for food. Now I'm just deciding whether he's okay up here or if I should bring him back to the water because I could potentially get in trouble for it. You're not allowed to handle these animals, but I don't want to let this turtle sit out here. The tide's just gone down and it's a really hot day. He will literally cook in his shell if I leave him out here. Normally they'd be in a bit of water or something. So he's still moving at the moment, but I'm just waiting for a callback to see if it's okay for me to drop him in the stream down there. While we wait for that, I'll teach you a bit about him. All right, so this guy right here is a green sea turtle. Now, I was just walking through the mangroves here looking for mud crabs, and I came across him. I thought he was dead at first. Now, the reason why I'm not touching him 
is I'm waiting for a call back from fisheries to see if I'm allowed to bring them to the water because I do know people who have gotten in trouble for doing it before. Even though you're rescuing an animal, like there are still very heavy rules about coming in contact with these guys. So he's still alive, he's still moving. Turtles can stay out of the water. So I'm not too stressed yet. The only thing I'm worried about is that it's really hot today. It's probably like 32 degrees and this guy, if he stays out here till the next high tide, he could cook in his shell before the water comes back up to him. This is an endangered species and the reason being is so many factors. It's very common to see them getting hit by boats. One of their favorite things to eat are jellyfish. So when they see a plastic bag, they're obviously gonna eat it and that's just a death sentence for these turtles. I'm just gonna wait here till I get a call back from him and if I don't get a call back within the next 15 minutes, the lady said that just yeah just bring it to the water look at oh he's taking another breath look at all those barnacles sitting on their back there probably about a year ago i kayaked over to this island and went snorkeling with a heap of big ones i'll roll you the clip now Yeah, so like um, I was walking through the mangroves actually looking for mud crabs and yep. um, there's this turtle and he's, he's probably like 20 meters away from the water, green sea turtle, and um, he's breathing and everything, but I think he's just timed the tides wrong because it was one of those little creeks that at high tide there's water in it. And, yeah, um, so he's got himself stuck up there with no water under him. Yeah, so I just like, I don't want to get in trouble by grabbing him or whatever. Do you want me to just pick him up gently and move him down to the water. So you put your hand at, at, at the top of the carapace or the top of the shell behind his head there. There. And one on his, yep, and one down near his back end there. Yeah. And you'll just lift up that way. Yeah. Okay, so he's up. Is he responding when you're doing that? Yeah, he's responding. He's trying to paddle <laughs> in the air. Yeah, perfect. And Excellent. we're just moving him down to this creek. And I'll chuck him just in. Yeah, yeah. Here he goes. Go, okay, mate. I'll move that stick out of the way. So what we're going to look out for, he Miller, is that it, when he gets in the water, is there enough water for him to get a bit of a swim up going on there? Or yeah. There so this pool right here is really deep. Oh, here he goes. Oh yeah, he's loving that. What are we watching out for? And what we're going to look out for is that he actually stays under the water as far as his backside doesn't pop up. Yeah, he's... Here. Excellent. Well, thank you. Great job today. Thank nah, you. thank you so much for that. That was really cool. Okay? See ya. See you, mate. Bye-bye. <laughs> yes. We got it back in the water. That's so cool. Literally the best thing to see because there's no way it would have survived till the next high tide. And she guided me through everything that I needed to do. So if you ever find a sea turtle up in the mangroves and you're not sure about it, literally just call up your local fisheries. They'll direct you and tell you what to do. But yeah, it kicked off strong. But let's hope we don't ever have to rescue anymore. Oh, I can actually see her. Big girl. Right, it's getting pretty late in the day at the moment. I'm still all the way out in the mangroves. So what I think I'm gonna do, pack everything up. I've got myself a mud crab and some brim that I'm gonna eat. Let's get back to the car and go somewhere that we can cook them up. What a day though, this has actually been awesome. Just chuck them in like that. Wait 15 or 20 minutes and it should be ready. So that muddy looks ready. We'll just take it out of here. And since we got this creek here, 
chuck it straight in there to cool down for a couple minutes. Bit of lemon, tell us what you think of it. Not bad? It's pretty good, I haven't had mud crab in a while, so it's mm. really good actually. Queensland lollipops, eh? Mm. Not bad. There we go. Mm. Yeah, so good, eh? Chuck some lemon on it. Literally caught it earlier today, and it was literally walking around, what? half an hour ago. All right, everyone, and I think that's it for another video. Thank you so much for watching into it this far. That was actually probably one of the coolest adventures that I've been on in a while, and I've got an even cooler one coming next week. I've never done a solo survival video in the outback before, so it's gonna be cool to go out there, go on a big road trip, film all the animals. It's literally 40 degrees Celsius out there at the moment, so it's gonna be so hot. Gonna have to build some cool shelters. But yeah, thank you so much. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. My Instagram Instagram name's Miller Wilson, so if you want to go check out some more of my content, it's just over there. And yeah, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys again next Sunday in the next adventure.